In September of 1980, Analytic Services, a think tank to aid the United States Air Force, produced a presentation in which they proposed a concept to use the SR-71 Blackbird as a long-range interceptor, pretty much like the Russian MiG-25. The SR-71 would be equipped with an AWG-9 radar for the purposes of reaching out and destroying the Soviet Union's AWACS aircraft, as well as their bombers. To hit those aircraft, the Blackbird would be armed with four AIM-54 Phoenix missiles that would have folded wings. But this concept remained on paper. Two years later, aviation industry giant Lockheed proposed the same idea and named it the SR-71I, but instead of using the AIM-54 Phoenix, Lockheed proposed using a new missile, which we today know as the AIM-120 Amram. Although the Amram wasn't there at the time, on paper, it was. The AIM-120 was essentially the same size as the AIM-70F Sparrow, without requiring the complexity of folding fins. Along with missiles, the radar was also changed. In order to support the new AIM-120 missiles, the SR-71I would be equipped with the ANAPG-65 radar used on the US Navy's F-A-18 Hornet. If it became a reality, the SR-71I would operate out of either Loring Air Force Base in northeastern Maine or Sawyer Air Force Base in Michigan, which is now decommissioned. From there, with a single aerial refueling, the SR-71I could reach and attack Soviet targets in the region of Scandinavia, and after the mission, it could land either in Greenland or England.